Uh, this is Vargas, and I am back again with another DVD update. Um, still, DVDs that I've gotten through Movie Freak Bazaar, he has gone back to his uh, weekly sales, so that's cool. Uh, enjoy his weekly sales, because that's uh, Movie Freak Bazaar is uh, really the only uh, method I have to add to my collection, since I, I can't go to flea markets or anything else the like. So, uh, I'm going to do two videos, just give you a quick heads up. One is... Uh, for last week's uh, sale that he did and the next one is going to be for this week's sale so let's get started um, last week I, I found some uh, CDs uh, yes I still collect physical media I know that's uh, surprising to some people because you know uh, everyone's downloading everything or, or stuff but I, I like owning uh, physical media I, I, I'll, I'll always collect physical media uh, whenever I can so uh, but this one, this is the best of Oingo Boingo. It's a uh, band that Danny Elfman uh, was part of. And uh, this is their best things, but uh, it has weird science. Uh, so that was a big reason why I picked it up, and I like the cover. So, yep. Then I picked up uh, Adam Sandler's uh, 51st Date soundtrack. The soundtrack for... Uh, Adam Sandler's and Drew Barrymore's 51st Date. And uh, I bought this one because I was hoping that it had the last song that the movie plays, uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, by... Uh, I can't pronounce his name. <laughs> uh, but uh, he's a, a, a guy from Hawaii. And uh, that's the song. Well, the song itself, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, is the song that you know we sing to our daughter when she... Uh, it's her lullaby. So I was hoping this one had it, but it doesn't. It doesn't, even though it's featured in the movie, it's not featured in this CD soundtrack. So that's annoying. I'll have to track down the that guy's uh, CDs. And the last one I picked up is a single for "The World Is Not Enough." Uh, this is uh, by Garbage. Uh, this is for sure one of my favorite uh, James Bond uh, themes. Uh, the music video is really cool. I, I wish this thing had like a uh, a DVD extra where it had this. It, it had the music video for this one, uh, but it's just uh, the world is not enough. The original version, then the Uncle remix, and then it has a bonus song, uh, Ice Band. It's all three by Garbage, and uh, this this is again one of my favorite James Bond themes. Uh, if you haven't listened to it, uh, go check out the music video. It's on YouTube. But the world is not enough by garbage. The the music video is really cool, and I like I really like the song. Okay, on to some movies. I I have the snapper ver sna snapper case version of this one, um, uh, but I, I went ahead and picked this one up. It's Austin Powers International Man of Mystery. Uh, like I said, I have the snapper case version, but uh, the Spy that Shagged Me and Goldmember have the standard DVD case. So I, I was like, why not? It doesn't. There's any. There's no difference. There's no special features that are different from the snapper case version that I have. Uh, the only problem is that the side is a little uh, sun burned out. The burned out by the sun, which is kind of disappointing. But it's a really good movie. Still, I, I really liked it. Uh, Pick this one up. Blind by. I don't think I've ever seen it. it. Has a good cast. Has Ewan McGregor, Naomi Watts, and Ryan Gosling in Stay. It's uh, supposedly a psychological thriller, but I've never seen this one. But I bought it. Uh, picked up the sequel. Now I have to drag down the original one. Uh, Jack Reacher, Never Go Back. I know a lot of people don't like Tom Cruise. Uh, but he's, he's okay. He, he's a good actor. And uh, I remember liking the first Jack Reacher. I don't think I've seen the sequel. Or maybe I've seen the sequel. And I th I've never seen the original one. Because... I don't know. I have to rewatch this. I think this is the one I saw because it has Robin from uh, and Marie Hill from uh, Robin from How I Met Your Mother and Marie Hill from Agents of uh, I'm sorry from the Avengers movies. So maybe this is the one I saw. I don't remember. Um, I always skip on this one, but I finally decided to pick it up. Directed by Ta Paul Thomas Anderson, starring Daniel Day Lewis. There will be blood. Uh, it comes in this. Uh, cardboard set, but it's the two-disc uh, collector's edition. 
There's a little something there, and uh, it has the two discs there. The packaging is cool, but it's cardboard, and that's always flimsy. Uh, Futurama did had the same thing where they had cardboard packages, and they were also damaged. But I can put these on a, a one of those thin uh, DVD cases that I have, and it'll sturdy it up a bit. But yeah, I always skip on that movie, and finally found the two disc collector's edition. So cool. Uh, also, I always skip on this one, but decided to finally get it because uh, it's directed by uh, Joel Schumacher, and uh, Joel Schumacher passed away a couple of uh, weeks ago. So, at least by the time I'm recording this, so when that usually happens, when a director or an actor uh, passes away, their their work or their movies certainly uh, garner interest, and then it gets hard to find. Uh, I picked up The Client. Uh, it's a uh, uh, court drama that I I just uh, always skipped on. Uh, dramas aren't really my favorite genre, but um, I, I picked this one up because I didn't own it, and uh, he had it, and you know it's again directed by Joel Schumacher. And that's the thing about Joel Schumacher. Everyone remembers him uh, from the Batman movies, but he did a lot of really good movies. He, he was a really diverse act, uh, director, I'm sorry. Because he would direct uh, a whole different bunch of genres. Uh, so he was a good director despite, you know, the misstepings of Batman and Robin. But that's more studio interference, I feel. Uh, Pick this one up. A bl another blind buy. I've never seen it. Didn't even know about this one. But it's National Lampoon's Movie Madness. I uh, have no idea what this is about. Uh, I just picked it up because uh, it's National Lampoon. And uh, sometimes it's hit or miss. Uh, Vacation is awesome, but there's some spoofs that they did that were hit or miss. Uh, another one I always skip on, because I, I always come across the uh, full screen version. And this time Move Bazaar had it, and it's the widescreen version, so that's why I, I finally went ahead and picked it up. Uh, by Ivan Reitman Evolution, which is basically a sci-fi version of Ghostbusters. But never come across the widescreen, always see the full screen, and that bugs me, so... Finally got it. Also finally got this one. I was calling out to see if they made a uh, better version with a little bit more special features. But it only has an audio commentary and a short uh, featurette. But this is the sequel to Wall Street. Wall Street Never Sleeps with uh, Shia LaBeouf and Michael Douglas. But I picked that one up finally. And I picked up Gone with Amanda Siegfried. I remember seeing the trailer. I've never actually seen the movie, but uh, picked it up. No special features, which is really disappo disappointing. Doesn't say it's a rental exclusive, but usually when a movie doesn't have any special features, because the movie's either not that good, so they didn't bother to add any special features, or it's a rental. Uh, usually, Blockbuster would do that a lot. That they would only have uh, rental exclusives, and it would say rental on the bottom, and it has no special features, just so you can watch the movie. That always bug me, and I avoid those versions like the plagues. I don't like movies that don't have special features. It doesn't even have the trailer, which also really bugs me. Uh, I think I've mentioned that before. If you're gonna release your movie on DVD or Blu-ray, at least have the trailer as a special feature, because it's part of the movie's history. And not having that uh, sort of cheapens the release. So that's disappointing. And the last one I picked up that week uh, is a repeat. Uh, with Sean Connery, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, but the widescreen version. Um, I, I'm doing this a, with a lot of movies that I own. That I, uh, I've come across the, the full screen version. Because way back in the day when I started collecting DVDs, I had a little uh, TV uh, and I plugged it on my DVD. And I would usually get the full screen because it would uh, make the image look good. When I would buy widescreens, uh, the image would kind of get cropped. And uh, on my TV, it, it, it didn't look good. But now that, you know, everyone has HD TVs and everything, uh, full screens kind of, it's, it's weird. I'll have to do a video on it. But uh, I'm upgrading all my full screen version movies into widescreen version. Because they look better on the big screen TV. So uh, I have the full screen of League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. And I wanted to get the, the widescreen. And uh, it's a good movie. I, a lot of people dump on this one. And 
you know, Sean Connery said that this is the movie that made him decide to retire from making movies. But I really, really like League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I thought it was pretty cool. So, like always, I like to recommend the, the standouts of the collection. A lot of blind buys. So I'm going to re recommend League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. It's really good. It. I haven't read the comic books this is based off. So, you know, maybe it's a total betrayal to the comic books. But I liked it. I, I liked the, even the low-budget Dorian uh, Johnny Depp wannabe that they got to play Dorian Gray. I, I thought it was good. I like Nemo. I like Sean Connery. I like the Invisible Man. I like Amina. Uh, I like Jekyll, the Hyde, Jekyll and Hyde because Hyde's a practical effect. I, I thought it was cool. So that's my recommendation. So um, that's last week's pickups. I'm going to stop and record this week's pickups. So see you soon.